If you want to be able to keep track of changes made to a field, in other words, the history of it, which by the way, it only works on fields who have the data type memo assigned to it or applied to it. For example, I've got my comments field, it has the memo data type. And once I turn this feature on, any changes that are made, it'll keep track of. Well, not right now because I didn't turn it on yet. So these changes or updates that were made here, not part of the history. So it's a good idea to turn it on if you want to keep track of all the changes before you start entering in your records. Let me show you. Come up here, right click on the tab, go to the design view. And again, this only applies to the memo data type. So come down here and select the field that has that data type. Down below, it'll have its corresponding field properties. Memo again is the only one when I scroll down to the bottom that has the append only. When I click in it, it'll describe that field, or in this case, ask us, would you like to collect history on this field? Set to no. If I'd like to set it to yes, double click and let's go ahead and change the view. Be sure to save our work, click yes, and then let's go ahead and make some changes. Come up here and let's change this, delete it and say it's 2008, shift enter, and then later on when I come in here and I'm like, wait a second, I thought it was 2007, I want to see the history of this. Go ahead and right click, and there it is, show column history. Now it only shows the change that I just made, not what it was before because I didn't turn it on until just now. So again, you want to turn it on before you start entering in records if you want to keep a history of everything from scratch. Let's click OK. Now if I come up in here and I make another change, last raise, let's just change it up a bit, say is 2010, shift enter, right click, show column history, there we go. Doesn't show us the first one because we didn't turn it on prior to it being entered, but it shows us the second and the third entry there. If I come back up here and I right click, go to the design view and I double click to turn it off and then I click save, it's not going to keep a history of those changes made in that uh, field, the comments. Go ahead and say yes, it's all gone. So when I come back to the data sheet view and I right click, I get no option for looking at the history. Now as a side note, I thought I'd show you something cool that you might find helpful. Speaking of keeping uh, track of changes or being able to quickly distinguish between changes, for example, when I'm looking at the uh, health field here to see which employees have health and which employees don't, I'm looking for a check in the box. Now that stands out a little bit, but if I use color, a little bit of conditional formatting, like if they have health insurance with the company, put it in blue. If they don't, put it in red, flag it so I can go ahead and talk to them and say, hey, you may want to consider purchasing health insurance. Well, the tables are limited and uh, forms. They're more flexible when it comes to applying conditional formatting, but if you're just going to use the table, let me show you how you can do it here. Just a little bit of coding, okay? So I'm going to come up here, right click on the tab, go to the design view, and then again it's for the data type yes, no, and the format is a yes, no. Now what I'm going to do here instead is I'm going to change this format. If they need it, I want to display it in red. If they already have it, I'll just say got it and display the text in blue. So come down here, delete it, and let's type it in. Open quotes, needs it, or need it, and then open square bracket the color of the text, need it, in red, and then semicolon, so you can go ahead and go to the next one and say open quotes, got it, close quotes, and then the color of got it is going to be blue in square brackets, okay? So the value that it's looking at is that if they don't have it, they have an empty value, the box isn't checked, then they'll need it. If they already have it and the box is checked, it'll be in blue. But actually, we can't use a checkbox if we want to format it this way. So how do we change it from a checkbox to an actual just plain text box so it can display the text there. I mean, this is text, you can't check the text, it's not a box, right? So we have to go to the lookup tab and then go ahead and click on the drop down arrow, change it to a text box, okay? Back to our general, okay? Need it, got it. Let's click on the view button. We gotta save it, say yes, and there we go. So instead of check boxes, for those who have it, I just said got it. And then the uh, color stands out, pops out. Instead of me looking with those uh, tiny check boxes, those that are checked, those that aren't, the red really calls my attention. And of course, if you don't like that anymore, then right click, go to the design view, click on the drop down arrow, go back to your yes, no, go to the lookup tab and say it's no longer a text box, it's back to our check box, switch views, say yes, you want to save it, and you're back to where we started. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.